If it is Jesus you want to follow, dear brother, I don't like to say it. Any, there's no other way I can say it. He will damage you. You will just wake up one day and find out that you don't love food again. You can't watch football. All your friends that you have, that you have saved on your mobile phone, G's partner one, G's partner two, G's partner three, you won't like G's thing again. You will wake up at odd hours of the night and you can't sleep. When they ask you what is wrong with you, you only know that something is calling. And you can't explain it. You will get tired of this life. Tired. I had worked in the oil company for some years as a contract staff in Chevron. It got to a point. That was the kind of job that people were willing to go to Babalawo and, and native doctors to eat something so that they can go to the interview and pass. I would carry my bag to enter a helicopter to go to a platform and in the corner of the helicopter, tears would be falling from my eyes. Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm doing my two weeks. I'm like a zombie. I'm just walking around the field doing my inspections. My heart is grieving. Is this, is this how I'm going to spend my life? Laboring here? When I was in youth service on the mountains of Mubi, the Lord came to me and he told me, he said, you, I will make you a brand new threshing instrument with many teeth. And you will trench the mountains to shaft. I, need, I needed money. Bills were piling up. But I got sick and tired of the job. One December, I got to the field and I went into a long fast. I was there for Christmas. They put the buffet on the table like this. And they said, go call pastor. Go and call pastor to come and pray for us. I came down, weak. All I had with my body was liquids for about seven days. And I was on the, on the platform. I came down, I saw the chicken lap, saw the salad, saw the rice. It was like dung. I had no desire. There was something I was yearning for, something I was seeking. And I found mortal man can give it. I don't care what names they call me. They've tried it in my city. They've come and caught my messages and said all kinds of, call me foolish, stupid. Well, you see, bro, I'm not afraid. When we die, we will know who truly lived. When we die. I'm not afraid. But my generation is scared. Scared. What if I don't marry? What if? What if? Where we are going, the reason we are like this, the reason we have not allowed God to make us faithful men is because we have lost the sense of eternity. We don't care about what is on the other side anymore. We have lost the sense. We don't want to receive the end of our faith, which the Bible calls the salvation of our souls. We're just concerned about here. Eternity has lost its hold. I hear clowns in the pulpit telling young people, don't be heavenly conscious and earthly useless. That is not a statement from scriptures. If you are a careful Bible student, you will find out that it is when you are heavenly conscious you will be earthly useful. When you are conscious of what is on the other side, God will begin to give you burdens for a generation. When you are conscious of eternity, you become such a weapon in this realm. They can't kill a man who knows that he's already dead. A man who knows that there's something on the other side. He's in a hurry to die. Paul said to be absent from the body. He's to be present with the Lord. You can't kill such a man. He's a dead man walking. He's waiting for any excuse to transit, to take off. You can't threaten such a man with death. But we, we have so loved life. So loved this realm. 
if, if we are sincere here now for the five years that you have been born again you've never thought about eternity you don't care so there are many in zion but they have not truly become the church of the firstborn we're just gathering enjoying music enjoying church and god can't do anything serious with our lives we are too earthly relevant we have become eternity useless useless even if god is sending you to a marketplace to the marketplace as a marketplace apostle what will keep you in the marketplace is your revelation of eternity if not you will steal your company's money you will sleep with your secretary is the consciousness of eternity that will keep you honest keep you faithful that will not allow money become your god i'll be going to work crying i got to a point i said god even if i'm not going to eat food again i will resign from this job i can't be i cannot be alive and it looks like i am dying no that's how out of nowhere a lecturing job just opened in my city when I saw the offer, it was a 70% pay cut. In fact, when I sent the, the, the appointment letter to my wife, the first thing she told me was, how are we going to survive? Before when they pay me salary, I can pay my house rent. And my house rent was over a million naira. I can pay my house rent. I got a job where the initiating point was not, was not even up to 200,000. And my wife was saying, how will we survive? But if you see the way I came out of that job, like a man that had been in a cage, I was free. In recent times, I've started feeling like that again. I was telling him, did I tell you a man ago? Okay, it's not you, it's Reverend Austin. When I was in Lagos, before I boarded my flight, I got to class to teach. It has never happened to me before. For 40 minutes, I was blabbing. I was to teach quantitative techniques. I was blabbing. My mind was elsewhere. I had prayed all night, crying to God, I'm tired. I entered class. It was like I was not seeing my students. I was all blabbing for 40 minutes. So I closed my book and said, I didn't prepare for this class. Then I told my wife, if you don't pray for me, I will just carry my bag from this office and we'll be hungry. She said, don't, don't try it. Oh. I, I send for prayer support. In this world, you will have tribulation. You see, bro, you need to settle it in your heart and your mind that God does not have anything to prove. He's not going to be emotional to say, Oh Lord, everybody is laughing at me. Then he will send you money. He will keep you there. Go back to Luke.